Welcome to The Short Score, your weekly update of rope and news from around the industry, where you can find the latest on the sport from the pro rodeo ranks to the jackpot world. I'm Taylor Vollen, and I'm your host. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Welcome back to The Short Score. As usual, it's your host, Taylor Vollen. I hope you all had a great weekend, and if you're from a hot part of the country, I hope you were able to stay out of the heat a little bit and didn't burn up too bad, unlike me, which I definitely did. Speaking of heat, if you've been keeping up with Pro Rodeo and all of our socials, of course, you would have seen that Tyler Wade and Wesley Thorpe have been on quite the heater over the last week as we travel into the northwest part of the season as the year winds down. They got the first round and average win in Caldwell, Idaho. They won the first round in Canby, Oregon, and got a piece of the average pie there as well. And in Moses Lake, Washington, they also took home some money. And over the last week, they won $13,462 in total. So long as my math doesn't suck. On today's episode of The Short Score, which is brought to you by Gold Buckle Horse Sales, I have Tyler Wade on to just kind of talk about how the last week went, what the rest of the season looks like for them as they more than likely have the finals made, which I'm hesitant to say that because I don't want to jinx anything. We talk about the role that they've been on and their outlook as we enter the last month or so for rodeo this year, and I really hope y'all enjoy it. Is it you and Wesley, or you guys still got your families out there? How's it going? Um, Wesley's with his family. Okay. We swap rigs. I think they got the stomach bug, I heard, so I'm staying away from it. <laughs> I don't blame you. That does not sound good on the road. No, not at all. Well, aside from the stomach bug, it's been a minute since we talked, but how has the road kind of been treating you guys? Oh, it's been good. Uh, it's been good compared to how bad it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. Was it, re- I, was it really that bad? I don't feel like it was. Yeah, nobody... I was along for it, so I thought it was terrible. Oh, but man. I didn't, uh, I didn't rope good for a while. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So. Well, then this last week had to have been pretty nice for you. Pretty confident building, I feel like. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and, uh, the last uh, month has been awesome. We've won, you know, we've averaged grand a month for the last, I don't know, from Spanish Fork to now. Mm-hmm. So it's been really good. Yeah. I mean, hell, last week, if I'm, I mean, if my math's wrong, correct me, but last week you guys almost won 14000 didn't you? Uh, Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'm not sure what we won at Canby. I know we placed at the bottom of the mm-hmm. average and stuff. But, but, yeah, it's been good. We, uh, It's been really good here lately, so I think we finally got the finals sewed up, so that was good. I was going to ask, I didn't want to jinx it or anything, but I didn't know if you guys had had that figured out yet or not. Uh, you know, coming down to the last little bit, I've been on the bubble a lot, mm-hmm. and the last little bit there's just, it's the same guys going to the same places, and there's not as many rodeos, so yeah. um, it seems like the, you know, you're not really, it's hard to get ahead, honestly, because... You know, where there was 90 teams, now there's 60. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and then it's all the same guys. Yeah. Know? Well, and you guys got to be getting lower on your rodeo count, too, I'm assuming, right? Uh, we're not going to get to 75. Uh, just honestly, merely now, because we don't have to, luckily. Yeah. But <clears throat> we don't have to, like, fly to California at the end and stuff like that. So um, I think our plan now is just try to win at the tour rodeos and win enough to make sure we're in the top eight to go to uh, Sioux Falls. That'll be good, yeah. That's got to be kind of a breath of fresh air, I'm assuming. It really is. Honestly, <laughs> I've never uh, I've never got to enjoy the Northwest because I've always been on the bubble or somewhat yeah. on the bubble where I need to make it or my partner needed to make it. or So uh, kind of just being on cruise and just trying to win where we go, that's dang sure a better feeling than I feel for those guys because I get it. I've always been on the bubble. Mm-hmm. So the Northwest hasn't been good in the past, you said. So what do you think has been different this year? Other than obviously you're open with Wesley, like that's different, but. Um, as far as just open in general or the Northwest? Uh, maybe both. Um, I don't know. I feel like everywhere we've been, 
Wesley don't hardly miss, so right. if I turn him, he don't he don't miss very many, and he goes <laughs> them fast. So if I do my job, it feels like we're gonna win something, and we're gonna win something pretty good at, for the most part. Mm-hmm. Um, Moses Lake, we drew a stronger steer, and that was the first time we caught a steer and didn't win money on it really? all year. Yeah. So we were six three. I won that mm-hmm. won that tried pretty good, and I did. I missed the barrier a little bit. So yeah. Uh, but that was the first time. Usually, you know, if we catch, we win something decent. So mm-hmm. uh, I think that's probably one of the biggest things is he hardly ever misses and he's fast. <laughs> so, like I said, you're gonna you're gonna be in the top five holes as long as you turn the steer for him. Right. Well, I know we talked last time. Like you guys are good pals. You guys have been second partners and stuff. So it's not like it's really that new of a partnership. I mean, right? No, not at all. We've we've rubbed together forever and a lot at the jackpots and we kind of know each other's play and mm-hmm. Wesley, he's as good as can be to be around and, you know, when I was having yeah. a pick, we would he would just kind of smile and laugh it off and we'd go eat a steak after that. He didn't, it didn't, nothing really phases him. Really? Colors, you know? So, yeah, when I'm having a heck, I don't have to look over and wonder what he's thinking yeah he's just he stays the course pretty good sees it through and i thought that was we got out of the slump faster because our attitudes was you know our attitudes we act like we weren't in a slump so it made it easier to get out of one it's crazy what a positive mind does i feel like in being around the right people well it just feels like uh if you're worried about the last one you're not going to catch the next true right um if you know good or bad just pretend like it doesn't exist and the next one's the only one that matters mm-hmm. and uh, i think it puts things in perspective a little easier than we're open so bad you're wondering how many cools you use and where your loop yeah. needs to be and all that instead of just pretending like nothing happened and you know mm-hmm. it usually turns around that way right to clarify nothing against past partners for either one of y'all i really don't ever want anyone to think that i'm implying anything but the last month since Spanish and everything and just this year of since y'all started open this year, do you feel like it's kind of confirmed that you guys were supposed to be partners? <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like, uh, you know, always it's kind of things work out how they're supposed to regardless. Mm-hmm. And uh, the stars just kind of line for us to get the rope together this year. Yeah. Uh, all the past partners we've both had, honestly, they wrote they rope good or we wouldn't have roped with them and we wouldn't have been out here trying it on so uh, everybody's got their own styles and you gotta get somebody that works good together mm-hmm. and uh, so I just think that yeah it's obviously what it, whatever happens regardless even if it's bad it was meant to be <laughs> yeah. and uh, that's just kind of how it's supposed to be I right. guess you could say so True. I do my best to walk by faith and not by sight so and that goes with losing too oh, you know yeah. you just kind of gotta stay the course and uh, and just play it out and just keep going. Right. So, oh, that also helps with, you know, just losing in general instead of wondering why me, why me, just stay the course. And, yeah. Uh, I think that if you get too, too down about losing, mm-hmm. you know, you're not, you're not walking by faith like you should be either. So, right. It, you know, when you lose, you act like you'll never win again. And mm-hmm. that's not the case. Just, just, just keep doing your job or, Keep trying to do your job. It'll turn around. <laughs> right. Very true. So we can talk runs now. Kind of give me the rundown on where y'all went over the last week and just kind of how they went. Give me a play-by-play if you don't mind. We went to uh, Caldwell uh, Monday, can be Tuesday, and then the second round of Caldwell Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, Gooding. Mm-hmm. Friday Moses Lake and then Saturday back to Caldwell. So uh, <clears throat> we won the first round at Caldwell. The steer was just medium, but he was really straight, and I thought we made a really really good run. And it was aggressive, it was fast, but it kind of got us ahead of the pace where yeah. we could just play the rest of the field. And then we went to Canby and Sam Doe. We were in the first set, and we won the first round there. We had a steer that went to the right. And the arena is kind of diamond shaped, mm-hmm. so there literally is no left at all. It feels right. like, especially the past you had them, the worse it gets. And uh, our second one come left really hard. Wesley kind of had to take a risky shot, and uh, 
it didn't work out. But we still placed like eighth in the average, I think. Mm-hmm. But and uh, then we got to Gooding, and we all just kind of sent a hail mary because four four won like eighth place yeah. or tenth place or something crazy. And uh, that didn't work. And then Moses Lake, we drew a runner, and uh, so we, you know, like you said, after we caught a couple, and then we went to losing again. But I mean, we it never batted an eye about it. And yeah, second round in Caldwell, we had the best steer we may have ever run, and uh, we didn't do a very good job on him. Honestly, we just kind of went to catch one six flat. Mm-hmm. But but being that far ahead in the first round kind of gives us some room, to, yeah. some wiggle room just to get a time in advance. And uh, short round, mm-hmm. Tanner and Patrick kind of put the pressure on us. We had to be like <laughs> five, to, five, six, or seven to win it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think we, yeah, we had to be five. Five seven to win it outright. We was five six. So yeah, gotcha. and I I thought that this year in the short round I was going to lope, and he, and I thought I was just like I was just grab the saddle horn and go catch the steer and we'll be five eight or faster. Mm-hmm. And uh, he got away from me, and I just kind of threw a big catch loop around the neck, and then I handled him awful honestly. And Wesley, it was time for him to man up. <laughs> <laughs> so he did. He did a good job of it, but I didn't help him out enough. Oh my lord! I doubt that. I doubt it was that bad. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's on a video. I can't hide it. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm always curious. So, I know setups are different everywhere, obviously. But you know, never being out in the Northwest personally and stuff. How? What are their setups like over there in that corner of the the country? Uh, a few of them are on racetracks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, so their setups are a little odd, mm-hmm. uh, like candy. The setups pretty tricky. So the deer, the steer dictates. I mean, on, honestly, all of it. It's, if, the slow, if, he'll, if he's slower and straight, mm-hmm. they're going to give you the win. And if he runs at all, you're you're kind of got to earn it. And if he if he does if he goes left, you're, you're in a bind. Right. And uh, so you know that the only thing I love about out here versus the rodeos all summer as most of them are two and three headers yeah so you don't have to draw two lopers you can you know you can you can be four six and five mm-hmm. eight or something you don't have to have the two best years in the herd two or three headers you can you can just do your job and be smooth and i'll usually win something mm-hmm. gotcha uh the, only, the harder part about that is the steers have been roped longer. Right. So, they're usually, so the steers are usually a little bit trickier, trickier you know, towards yeah. the end of the year. Right. How do you kind of handle that? I mean, I just feel like maybe I don't have a very good middle game, but how do you kind of handle that knowing that you're going in on trickier steers? Like mentally, how do you prepare? I think you just, uh, you know, if you mess up and it's your fault, Mm-hmm. And the steer was good and all that. You gotta, you gotta fix it. You gotta fix it fast. But, but also like, if he runs and cuts left, and you know he has a bad track record, nobody's really want anything on him anyways. Like, you either get by him or you don't. But if you take with a grain of salt, you move to the next one. But, yeah. But when that chance rolls around there, and that you know that steer's good, you have mm-hmm. to use. It. And uh, I think that's just kind of the game we play you know i don't care if you won the first round if you have the steer to win the second round on you should probably try it you right know, usually. this episode of the short score is presented by gold buckle horse sales gold buckle horse sales has come up with a process to take the guesswork out of finding the right horse and allowing both buyer and seller to find the perfect match with confidence each horse can sign through the program is professionally photographed, videoed, and demoed by a professional Gold Buckle Pro. Learn more at goldbucklehorsesale.com. I know last time we talked, again, that was like a month ago, you were riding Spur, I think, right? Yeah. yeah. Have you switched it up? Or are you still riding him? Or kind of what have you been mount? What have you been mounting uh, on lately? No, he's he's the guy. I have a younger one out here, and she's pretty green, but I think she's gonna be really nice. Uh, the spur, that's, he's the man. He, he gives you a shot every time. Like I said you can you can throw your whole rope on one and be three, mm-hmm. and then you can come back and he'll let you just catch the steer. He comes up the wall. He scores good. He runs hard. Uh, I can't fault him anywhere. So usually, usually when I mess up. It's my fault, not his. So it's hard. It's hard not to stay on a horse like that. Right. Yeah, that's fair. 
that younger one, is this kind of the first time you've really taken her all over? Yeah, she's she's probably been to less than 10 rodeos total. Really? And, uh, yeah, she, um, Chelsea, since we started the, uh, the LTEs on the horses mm-hmm. or whatever, yeah. she's got like, I guess it started February 1st, and she's got like 40 grand in earnings, maybe, or close to that. Wow. So, she's really nice, and she's, yeah. the jackpots are, she's doing really good at the jackpots now, because, you, you know, you don't have to throw her to be quite as fast, you mm-hmm. can set her up and you use her, but uh, I just brought her out here to ride on occasion, and yeah. to get her feet wet a little bit, hopefully she takes first place in the future. Right. Well, that's good, though. Yeah, for sure, so... Luckily, right now, I don't have to throw her to the fire too much. <laughs> She's probably grateful. Yep. I know all your matters, but from the outside looking in, I think hitting like this, having good success at this point in the year is really crucial. Like I said, outside looking in. So what does it kind of mean to you to get the ball, or not get the ball rolling, my bad, to be on a roll right now when the pressure seems to be even high, even higher? <laughs> I, don't, I try not to think that I'm on a roll or on a roll or, you know, don't get too high and too yeah. low. So it's, it's just, um, we've been blessed for the last, you know, the last month's been really good. It's been the best month I ever had. Yeah. Not the worst summer I ever had. So um, the, probably the only thing I'm most proud of is just staying the course and not getting yeah. too down. I've been down. I've been down before, and when you're, when you're down, you can't really bounce back, or I can't. Mm-hmm. I just, it's like if you think you're in a slump you stay in one and if you you know yeah i don't get to kind of get too high or too low i used to mm-hmm. used to if i won if i won one and lost for 10 in a row it didn't bother me because i was like man i won that one not too long ago. <laughs> but but now it's like you know uh the only one that matters is the next one and that goes for winning and losing mm-hmm. so. i like it it's a good mindset i feel like <laughs> i think you know <laughs> it's, it's such a marathon you know, out here the weeks, the days don't matter, the weeks don't matter, the months don't matter, and the years don't matter. It's just longevity over time and staying the course. Yeah. So, so literally, when you have that mindset, I think it, I'm a decade into rodeo right now. So, uh, just staying the course and playing it through and grateful for, for all the opportunities is probably the biggest deal. Right. So, what do the next couple of weeks look like? I'm assuming y'all will stay out that way for the most part. Yeah, we go to uh, Kennewick and Bremerton. Um, Mm-hmm. To uh, the rest of this week and Coeur d'Alene at the end of the oh, week. Oh, yeah. So hopefully, the Kennedy Week short round Saturday. And then we'll start at Walla Walla and then Ellensburg at the big West Star Rope. And then, uh, then we go to Filer. We're, we call it easing around, but every rodeo is about seven hours apart. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah. But uh, it's not too stressful. We're going to have a place to stay all the time. Oh, just going to hang out and practice and go to three a week. Yeah. So, Sounds like a good setup. Yeah. Yeah, it's not It's not too bad. A lot of, most of the rodeos are two and three headers, like I said, so you can kind of stay the course and just, just go rope. You know? Yeah, yeah. This is really random, but how has the weather been out there? It actually has been really hot. Really? It feels like it's been 100 everywhere, but now it's oh. 80 and it, it's been raining. So, and they say it's going to be a little bit cooler so huh. I know at home it's been hot and it's yeah. dry so gotcha yeah. I just was curious cause okay this is very off topic I live in the midwest but I'm from Salinas so I you know all throughout the year I'm going from 60 degree weather to midwest heat and so I've been very curious what it was like in the northwest right now but <laughs> yeah it's been nice but uh it's, it's kind of tricky out here rodeo on uh Luckily, Classic does a good job of making sure we got two different types of ropes. But it'll yeah. be 100 somewhere, mm-hmm. and then 60 at the next place. So, you know, you're going to need softs and extra softs, a few different types of lays and ropes, and your ropes feel completely different to me. Yeah. 